Hello! I'm going to show you how to make your very own ocean drum at home. This is one that I made with Max earlier and you can see we've decorated it with some sea creatures and some lovely colours and this is what it sounds like, look. A little bit like waves on the ocean. So if you'd like to have one what you need to find are two paper plates. It doesn't matter what colour they are, any paper plates will do. But what you need to do is turn them over and on the back that's the place where you can decorate it if you want to. You could just have a plain one if you like but it's quite fun to decorate it and you could use your colouring things at home, draw your own pictures on there if you like. If you've got any stickers you might like to add a few stickers to yours or you could cut out some pictures and glue them on. So when it's all ready and it's dry then what you need to do is put it down on the table just like you were going to eat something so it needs to be the right way up and we're going to put some things onto the plate that will make the sound of the ocean. So you'll have to have a look and see what you can use in your home. In my home we've got lots of things excuse me there we go we've got some rice that makes a good sound when you give it a shake we've got some popcorn we've got some dried macaroni all these things make a lovely sound but for my ocean drum my favorite thing to use is lentils they sound very swishy when you put them inside an ocean drum so i'm going to pour some lentils onto the plate doesn't matter how many you use, really. There we go. Then you take your second paper plate and it's going upside down like a lid on top of the other one. There we go, just on top. All right, the next thing we have to do is join the plates together and we don't want any gaps because otherwise the lentils or the things that you put inside they're going to fall out and make a big old mess. So I'm going to use some thick duct tape for mine because it's it's nice and strong but you can use ordinary tape too that's absolutely fine just use whatever you've got. The main thing to remember is don't leave any gaps for things to fall out. All right so at this stage leave your plates where they are. Leave them flat because if you move them things will fall out. Right, let's get some tape and start sticking. So I'm going to put some on this side and join them together. There we go and I'll get another piece of tape and join it on this side and you just keep going round and round with your tape until there's no gaps but remember just turning it like this not lifting it up because the things will fall out okay so keep going till you've done it all and it should look like that it should be all the way around the tape with no gaps and then we'll be able to see your picture there we go that's how you make an ocean drum so i hope you have lots of fun making one at home bye bye from me and max